Hey there YouTubers, it's Will here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the password and network name on your Verizon Fios wireless router. Uh, Verizon Fios gives you a, um, a router and modem combo box that has a generic network name and generic uh, web key password that is uh, just a bunch of letters and numbers which is fine but it's just kind of annoying to give uh, people a password when um, it's just a random set of letters and numbers. Uh, so this is a much uh, nicer way to set up your network with a, uh, we're going to set it up with a WPA key, which is much more secure and easier to give out um, the password to since you can use um, letters and numbers rather than just uh, hexadecimal characters, 0 through 9 and A through F. So uh, we're going to do that today. Uh, we're going to start off by opening your web browser and entering 192.168.1.1. It's going to ask you to log in. The default login uh, for Fios routers uh, is uh, username admin, password, password. Uh, the only exception is if you have a D-Link, if you have a D-Link router, uh, the VDI 624 router, which is this one pictured here, um, then you just leave the password blank and use the uh, username admin. All the other four routers which you see here that Verizon uses uh, are the default uh, username admin password password. So we're gonna go ahead and log in here. Mine is not what that is. They will probably ask you to change it when you log in. Um, so you can do that when you log in. Uh, but now we're gonna do is go to wireless settings, go to basic settings, and right here is where you change the SS the SSID uh, name on your router. This is the little name that pops up on your wireless utility. As you can see in my neighborhood, all these people have the default name, except for this person, uh, the default router name on their router. And as you can see, it's just a random list of numbers and letters, which is kind of lame. So I changed mine to an actual name uh, that suits me. And uh, what we're gonna do is then go down to the number four box where we're gonna say off. We're gonna turn the web key off. Web key is a very insecure key. I don't know why Verizon gives you uh, a web key uh, for your router. It, it's only 64 bit and um, you can only use hexadecimal numbers, which like I said is zero to nine and A through F in your passcode. Uh, and as you can see right down here is where uh, is my old password using the web key and you can see how long and lame it is. I mean, to give that to someone, you'd have to write it down on a slip of paper and hand it to them. It's just annoying to share the password with people. You're going to hit apply. Once you hit apply, you're going to be disconnected from your Wi-Fi momentarily. Uh, you are going to have to go into your uh, airport utility or whatever it is for Windows, um, your net wireless network connections. And... Um, click on the the network that you just renamed you just renamed your wireless network you click on that name and um connect back to it there shouldn't be a password on it now uh so you shouldn't have to enter anything uh but now uh after you do that it should reload the page and you can come back to wireless settings and go to advanced now and click uh wpa uh i like using wpa you can use wpa too um but there is sometimes with older devices there's a compatibility issue so I stick the WPA because you never know what devices people are going to bring in your house and you never know what problems you might come in contact with. So uh, I choose WPA. You can pick a password. I don't know if there's a character limit, but you, I think it can get pretty long. Letters, numbers, anything you want, uh, you can put in there. I choose ASCII because you use, get to use a bunch of different letters and numbers. And uh, I use the TKIP and AES encryptions, uh, compatibility once again, choose both that way. Uh, there's not gonna be a compatibility issue. Um, keep this the way it is and just hit apply. Uh, when you hit apply, it will once again disconnect you from the wireless. You're gonna have to go back to your airport utility, reselect the network. It'll ask you for the password. You enter the password that you just uh, put in there and uh, it should connect you back to your wireless network. Um, all if everything goes successfully you will have successfully changed the network name and password on your router uh, if something goes wrong and for whatever reason you can't get into your router uh, the password the network chain name doesn't change or the password doesn't change properly 
Uh, you can always reset the router on the back of uh, each of the Verizon Fios routers. There is a little reset button that's recessed into the little box. Get a pencil or something and, and uh, poke it and hold it uh, for 30 seconds, and it will reset it to the defaults, uh, which the Verizon Fios guy should have given you the password. But uh, if you if you you know if you forgot the password, you can come back in here and go to the basic settings. And your default web key password, which will be the password when you reset the router, is right there um, in your settings. And the the you know logins will all be reset as well. So you should be able to get in here and find your password if something goes wrong. But um, if nothing goes wrong, you will have a nice newly named and password protected network using your Verizon FiOS wireless router. Peace.